Today I'll be attempting to 100% D.Va's of creation by completing the entire storyline in this one video. So with that being said, this starts off from the last video that I posted when I did 7 days in this game. So go back and watch that video before you come to watch this video. But with that being said, my two goals for this video is going to be completing the Echo Core storyline which consists of 37 different quests. And the Last Dance storyline which consists of 22 different quests. By completing both these storylines, I'll be 100% in the game which right now I'm at 50% done with the game. So with that being said, let's get ready to explore, fight new bosses, and also be come overpowered in this game i love you guys and let's get straight into this video and we are back where we first started at the freaking vertus city with my boy pancake on the side you already know this time around we're switching up the build for this video last video i did a great sword and i did a bow build this time i'm gonna do a dagger and a fire staff because i want to switch it up for this video and i use the same exact build so i already have the dagger that i'm going to use but i need a fire staff which i don't have yet so i'm going to go ahead and buy one from the market real quick let's buy a fire staff i heard these did get buffed in this new update okay now we got that that. let's go ahead and equip this and this is going to be the build for the uh for you know what i'm saying for the rest of this video so let's go ahead and do the first quest of the freaking in pursuit of echo court storyline which is right here in the verdict city where we start at okay let's talk about sedina welcome april oh, the archaeologist who looks like she's been in mud and wrestling in history books finding her is at least haunt finding out her latest hunt could take a bit i got um i could help okay what do you need for my special brew okay excellent gather some of the sources i need okay good luck all right so we gotta gather something now we gotta collect 20 oh my god not back to these freaking skeeter guys okay here we are let's go ahead and try out this freaking fire staff real quick to see how good it is reset this real quick and let's put it on this skill instead there we go right, let's give this a try 27 per m1 is crazy let's use this real quick okay that did absolutely nothing we're going to we're going to the we're going to the melee luckily with the great sword i practiced on my pv skills over the great sword let's parry that i still gotta upgrade my freaking uh staff Okay, there we go. That's one down. After completing this quest, we talk back to Dinah. Dinah tells us about a rebel camp that we should infiltrate to learn more about the Echo Courts. But before infiltrating the rebel camp, we should talk to a girl named April. April tells us about that she's more interested in learning about the internal tree, but also can give us information about the Echo Courts as a thanks for learning about the internal tree and telling her about it. After infiltrating the camp for April, which was actually pretty hard to do, I'm not going to even lie to you guys, we talk to the internal tree. The internal tree tells us about its secrets before the devils of creation and also some stuff about life and things of that nature after learning this information we go back to april and she explains to us more about the echo cords and sends us to somebody named morris after talking to morris he teaches about these ancient stones that have ancient writing on them and that we should go talk to all these stones after interacting with all the stones we talk back to morris who teaches us about the orbs that we should charge and obtain for ourselves morris then sends us on a quest to go and kill 40 lizard men and 40 wasps while doing this quest which took a long time to do we hit level 30 which means we can unlock our next armor set which i chose to go with the samurai armor set which looks freaking amazing in this game and probably my favorite set so far and not long after unlocking this new armor set i also finally upgraded pancake to become a full-size horse which helped out so much with traveling throughout this freaking big map so thank the lord after fully completing this quest morris tells us to go free the young woman from captivity from the feeble frilled soldiers i'm actually so happy to have a mount bro like oh my god you know how long it took me to walk these freaking 900 meters and i could just get on a horse and i get there so much quicker like bless up baby bless up there is my young elf queen my young elf lady how are you doing today oh my god don't tell me this is a freaking okay thank god it isn't i thought it was gonna be like a quest where i had to like walk her it's gonna die search for the nest of aid for human bro i gotta what here's the nest search okay that's not the right nest okay it's not the right nest let's try this one right here then search the nest okay it's not this nest either let's try this nest okay it's not the what what fucking nest is it you stupid okay it's gotta be this one then no it's not even that one what the hell this nest give it to me okay there we go found the bandages okay here we go got you your bandages and what to now okay now i gotta kill a bunch of these guys okay actually i'm gonna do a little bit of mining real quick so i can upgrade it no leave me alone i don't want to fight anymore they're fucking chasing me there we go i'm a level five miner let's get it now i can finally get some of that emerald stuff that i need give me some of that good green stuff real quick if you don't mind need a little bit of this no don't do it oh my god i was so close to getting what i wanted they want to touch a miner what is wrong with these people why do they want to touch a miner gosh just let me get my freaking ore 
After farming up some more material to craft some new armor, I went to the marketing place to go ahead and buy a volcano staff because I needed a new fire staff that was more powerful. After buying the staff, I had enough material to now craft new armor, so I crafted samurai pants along with a samurai helmet, finally completing my samurai set. And also, I crafted a new pickaxe just in case I needed to mine stuff faster because stuff takes a long time to mine when you have a common pickaxe. After getting this new pickaxe, I finally maxed out my fire staff, getting the last move of it, so now I have a fully maxed out fire staff, finally. No, what's one of these? Oh, I'm so freaking cooked, bro. I hate these type of quests so freaking much. I'm getting flashbacks of the Spirit Force quest. The PTSD is rushing back as we speak. Bro, and they just be stopping in the middle of the place. Like, bro, why are you stopping for? Keep going. And, like, you're still standing here. Why the fuck are you still standing here? There's actually no way. She's just gonna... Uh, okay, thank you. Fucking 20 seconds standing still. 10 sets of absolutely nothing. About to die doing this, bro. Come on, don't aggro. Don't aggro. Thank you very much. He's like, why are you stopping? Oh my fuck! You dumb bitch! Why did I agree to protect this girl? I should have let her die. I should have killed her. Fucking. After going back to Morty, he told us that to fully get the orb, you have to fight a specific person in order to get the orb unlocked. He told us to return back to April to talk to her for the next quest. April tells us in order to get this orb, you have to fight a man named Roko, who was at the bandit camp. Okay, I found Roko, but this dude has like 50 people around him defending him. So I gotta figure out how to freak to kill these guys first and then kill Roku. And Roku's actually one of like the little guard guys that'd be like the front gate of the uh, Virtus City. So I gotta take out this archer first and then I can fight Roku one on one. And I'll take out that guy over there, too. Oh, my goodness. He does damage. I'm gonna shred me by the two of them. All right, see this real quick. Get back here, bucko. I'm running from these hands. Okay, that's one dead. He's a freaking son, Escanor son. Don't want to you aggro him yet. Okay, there we go. Another one's dead. And there. Okay, so we should, be good. we should be good to fight him now. We should be good to fight him now. I don't know how hard his boss fight is going to be, but let's give it a try. It's going to be the test run. Maybe the test run. Okay, sit him. Okay, use this. Oh, okay, he has a ground slam move. Got you. Parry that. Parry that. Oh, didn't parry that one. Back up. Ooh, okay. Hit him with this. And one him. Okay, okay, okay. Parry. Boom. Use my three. Why right, is my three on cooldown? I haven't even used it yet. Okay. Let's use this again. Oh, get out that way. Ah, oh, could I hit me? Parry. 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 Uh huh. Dodge. Parry. Hit him with this. Then dodge that one. Parry. Okay. Oh, get out of the way of that. Okay, let's activate this. Parry. Oh, didn't parry that. Parry that one, though. Use this one. Stun him real quick. Yep, he's almost dead. And he should be dead here. There we go. Easy, baby. Freaking easy work. The skills are getting there, baby. The skills are indeed getting there. Let's go use the orbs to interact with the internal tree. Okay. And we're good. Right the tree. Nobody's here. Interact with the tree. Yep. And, oh my god. I got this barrel sh they're so stupid. It's actually so dumb. I'm gonna die doing this quest. I just know it. Like, can I get a freaking second to do something, man? Jeez Louise. Okay. Touch the tree again. I'm, like fighting for my life right now. I'm trying to talk to the tree and trying to defend myself. This whole block. This whole block. Okay. Do that. Let's get up out of here now. How the freak am I gonna get out of here without dying? Okay. We're back at April now. Seek guys' help to decipher the clue. Okay, we have three more quests left for this storyline, and then we're done with it. I gotta risk it for the biscuit and just get the quest. Just give me the quest, bro. I'm not reading none of this dialogue. Just give me the quest. Okay, I gotta kill freaking 35 of these people. Great. Oh, actually, not these people. I gotta go all the way over here. Freaking dusty over here, bro. Damn. Okay, it looks like we're fighting these guys now. Okay, this, this should be pretty easy. These guys aren't hard to kill. This should be easy. After this quest, we got the next quest, which was to pick 30 ruby berries, which was pretty boring, so I'm not going to put it in the video. After picking these berries, we went back to talk to Guy, who taught us about the catacombs, which is a very scary place in this game, and you do not want to go there or you're going to die. But before telling us about the catacombs, he also told us to go back to talk to April. After returning to April, we tell her about what Guy told us, and then we also ask about the catacombs, which she said has some ancient writing in it that we need to go get, but for us to be very careful here, because the catacombs are no joke in this game. 
game. I gotta go into this Orochimaru la layer, the Diddy layer, the layer of death, Batman's dungeon. What else could I name this place? Jeez, bruh. I, like, bro, I'm black. I'm not supposed to be going places like this, bro. The Diddy dungeon is crazy work. Bro, this drunk is freaking deep as hell. Look for clues in the catacombs. For clues? I'm about to get touched down here. This is literally the basement. You don't go into horror movies, bro. What the heck? Oh, nah, bro. What the freak? All right, what is this? Let's talk to this freaking floating book. Now I gotta defeat skeleton soldiers and generals. Great. I had to fi kill 55? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna make this video. But I have two quests left anyway, so I might as well get these two quests done with. Okay, these guys are hella tanky. Of course they are. Why right, wouldn't they be this tanky? Why right, wouldn't they be this freaking tanky? Oh, and they have a power attack. Great. I didn't parry that. Are you serious? No parry? What? I couldn't and parry back i'm getting clapped right now and another one just spawned in on top of him and two more just spawned in with them yep we're dipping i'm not chilling in the diddy dungeon bro what the freak is wrong with this game I'm out of here. Ah, it's gonna take a long time. While in the catacombs grinding, I found a group of people which actually made it super easy for me to grind this out. And I just want to say thank you guys to these people in this video because you guys absolutely saved this video. I it was taking me too long to grind myself, so thank God for these guys to just appear in the game while I'm playing. After completing this quest, though, we might have to talk to Vorgash, who told us to go talk to a man named Eren Delai. Yep, that's that's his name. After we talked to him, we told him that there was a curse of control placed on Maryland, and he was like, How was that even possible? That's like a very very powerful curse spell how is that possible and i don't even know myself <laughs> but after this he gave us the quest to test our loyalty to him so he went ahead and went and killed more people with the same group that we was with and while doing all this killing he ran into the boss of this freaking catacombs and this boss is no joke i mean it freaking one tapped me so i'm not coming back here ever again okay now that we finally finished that quest is on to this quest now which i believe is the escort one because it helped somebody else do it earlier so uh, let me go ahead and try to do this one by myself and then if i can't i'm gonna just get these people to help me Okay, I've collected. Where can I need you? I can. Okay, yes, yeah, escort one. Oh, this is gonna be trash. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be real bad for me. Hope oh, yeah, this guy's gonna help me. What a go. He's gonna help me. Oh, he's getting boxed over there. Oh, my God. He's getting boxed. I'm already low, too. This is the worst part about it. I'm already freaking low. But most of the stuff is already cleared out, though, because we just cleared it out. This guy's actually a legend. I think right now I'm 87% done with the story, so I have, like, 10 more percent to go. Okay, let's head this way now. I'm gonna do this on my horse. So if they get near me, I can just run away. Look at this absolute legend. What's his name? Sharovalo. Go. See, look at him getting all of them. Oh man. Oh man. Thanks, bro. Gotta say thanks. I believe once we get up here, we should be done with this quest. This boy is stopping awfully a lot. For like, we're trying to get somewhere. You're stopping a lot. And here should be the last place, I believe so. And we should be done. And there we go. We did it. Say thanks to my guy real quick. Let's go back and talk back to him again. Dang, his freaking mount is fast. Like, that drink is fast. Okay, no spiders. Thank you. Let's go and talk back to this guy. Uh huh, did it work? How long would you need? Consider it done. There we go. Now locate the merchant Malachi on his mammoth roaming near Virtus City. My guy got this. He don't, he don't need help grinding, bro. He's like, he don't need help grinding. Don't leave him here. I'm gonna go back to Virtus City real quick. I'm, I could just die. Go back to Virtus City. I can just die. Okay. Respawn. Okay. We're back at Virtus City. The game is a little laggy per usual. Okay. My guy on the mammoth. I know his path already. There he is right there. Let's go over here. Talk to the guy on the mammoth. Hello. Uh huh. All right, there we go. Let's turn the powder. Gee, I gotta run all. I gotta go all the way back to there. Well, I'm about to get jumped trying to get this quest, bro. So I gotta click through it fast, but I'm about to get freaking jump. All right, I'm not gonna read none of this. I read it. I read it in post editing. But I'm about to get jumped. Okay, let me get out of here. Oh, we're good. Am I dumb? Is there an island? Oh, what the freak? When did this get in the game? So I gotta teleport all the way over here. Just swam across this entire freaking ocean because I don't have a boat. Are you serious? Just swam across the whole freaking ocean. 2,000 meters. And these guys look pretty intimidating, bro. I'm not fighting you. You might like you better jump at me with your sword and clap my buns from inside out. Okay, finally, we found Serena. Good godly. Is there a checkpoint here I could respawn at? Where is the spawn at? The spawn crystal, bro. Because if I die, I'm not coming back here, bro. I'm just going to end the video if I die here and I can't respawn. I'm just going to end the video. There it is, finally. This one probably costs like 2,000 to freaking uh, teleport over here. Here we are. Let's reveal the crystal. Where are we at? We are at the Sandstone Island Shore. Beautiful place, by the way. Go inside this hut to a chest I can open. Perfect. Give me the goodies. Give me the goodies. Look for information about Vito. Here he is. A pile of documents. Crystals. Mm-hmm. Return to Serena with the documents. Okay. Okay, Serena, we are back with the documents. There we go. And we leveled up. Our quest now is to collect 
communication crystals from Inferno Berserkers. Bro, if these guys are anything like the Bloodhood Brothers or whatever the freak their name was in my last video, where I almost broke my setup fighting these guys, if, if they're like that, I'm actually not gonna do this. I'm not doing this, bro. Because last time I fought people like this, I almost broke my entire setup. And that's not happening again. Let's see. Okay, so far we're good. Carry. There we go. No powerful attack. Okay, good to see, good to see. But they are definitely tanky. Not gonna be easy to fight. Oh, and there's another one aggro to me. Amazing. And it's an archer. Great. Now I gotta fight far range and close range at the same time. Okay. Why did he respawn? What? Why did he just respawn? He wasn't even that far from me. And this archer is fucking spamming me. Holy shit. Can't even focus, bro. I'm getting fucking shot at every two fucking seconds. I don't know. What's, I think I'm... Am I lagging? What the heck is happening? Why is he just not moving? I mean, I'm not complaining. That's free eats. I mean, those cheeks. And there's one down. This quest is gonna take a decade to finish. So you know, this quest is gonna take a long time to finish. I can already tell. Luckily here they have the palm trees, so I can get my palm wood in order to craft better weapons. So that's amazing to see. I am rage. You the killing montage. On the category of this quest, let me talk my shit real quick, cause I wanna say, fuck this quest. Holy Jesus. It took me almost four hours to complete this one quest because these bitch ass archers run a one array and spam. Like, why can't an archer shoot the bow while I'm wanting him? Like, what the actual fuck? You don't understand how much anger I went through through this playing this dumb quest. I almost broke my entire setup. I almost ended the video just playing this quest, bro. And I want to say to whoever de developed this quest, yo, when I catch you in person, bro, I'm going to put this Gen 5 switch into your throat. But after completing this quest, we had to do an escorting quest, which is pretty easy to do. I did it on my first try. And then he told us to head to this freaking pyramid temple place. At this point of the game, I kind of just got forgot about the entire lore and stopped caring. But um, I did one quest here and then I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this quest. <laughs> so I just quit the game. So, yeah.